First off, just I guess with the um, first collegiate home runs for Paxton and Brady, just uh, and just kind of the freshman class overall, it just kind of seems like things have been clicking. But can you talk about those two individuals? Yeah, they're great. Um, man, they are uh, great players, great talents, which you can see. This is a big jump from high school baseball to this. It's the biggest jump they're ever going to make in their life in terms of one level of baseball to the next. And, I mean, you see how talented they are because they're um, – you know, making it look easy in a way. Um, and I think that has more to do with their character than just their talent. I mean, these those two are pretty awesome human beings, and uh, they're making a positive impact, you know, with their play, obviously, but they're making a real positive impact on being really good people and working hard and being coachable and, you know, being in the right frame of mind. And then, you know, you see their talent come out that way. Um, so really lo I love the group. Um, about as, as good as you could ask for. You know, we obviously had to work hard to get those guys through the Major League Baseball draft to get here, and uh, sure glad we did. What's, what's the biggest takeaway for you from the four games this weekend? Yeah, I, this was a good weekend for us. Um, really proud of the team. Um, you know, it's night after night after night or four games in a row um, after a long road trip, and uh, they handled it about as good as you could. I thought we were maybe – a little slow to start on Friday night, you know, coming off that big trip and, and big win at Texas. Uh, but settled in, and when you have Paul Skeens pitching, that makes it a little easier to do that. You have a little more margin for error. But we, we re went back to the drawing board a little bit after Friday night, um, and uh, their response to it, couldn't ask for more. I, I, I mean, that might have been our best game of the year tonight, um, totally. And, um, you know, really, really pleased with that performance. and. Have to give him an off day, unfortunately, because NCAA rules tomorrow. Um, but uh, looking forward to get back on Wednesday. Thatcher's getting better every single yeah. outing. Yeah, no doubt. Really good performance. Um, that's pitching. What you saw tonight is pitching. Four pitches for strikes and execution and poise and command. And, yeah, that was uh, that was impressive. It, with him, is, you, know, you talked about the injury. Is it just – Seems like he's not thinking. Not thinking. He's yeah. pitching versus throwing. Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know he's still relatively new to pitching, um, and what I mean by that is like his junior year was COVID. Um, he was a catcher, you know, very good catcher actually, you know, in his prep time um, until he realized how good his breaking ball <laughs> was. Um, and then last year, you know, he had the injury. You know, I don't know if it was halfway, a little before halfway through the season. So he's still learning and getting experience and I think the talent you can see uh, the aptitude is really impressive from week to week it continues to get better and I think it's only going to continue to to go on an upward trend but um, very impressed uh, tonight with that performance. How you, how you guys have been able to handle the staff with these four games and then obviously with the fifth now on Wednesday. Um, yeah. Did that tell you a lot about your staff and just kind of yeah. the depth of it? Yes and no. I think I've, I have had, you know, the opportunity to see them enough where I'm not surprised. I haven't been like, man, how are we going to get through this? I mean, some, some years when you're into that five-game week, um, you know, it, it can get a little tricky. Um, I think we're in about as good a place as we could be going into the Wednesday game. Um, I don't like the 10-run rule. I never agree to it, um, but the visiting team always gets to decide. Um, uh, but in this case, maybe it helps us a little bit. Um, I don't like it because I'd prefer to you know, keep getting those guys that are really good players that I'm putting in the game, you know, two at-bats instead of one at-bat. But, uh, yeah, I think we're in great shape. Um, I think it's been spaced out enough. I feel like we've opened up games enough where we haven't had to double up and use guys. I think we only doubled up one guy this weekend, and that was more, uh, I don't want to call it experimental, but like we wanted to see how he would do with it because he's going to be able to do it. You know, We're going to want him to do it you know, going forward. So, um, yeah, it doesn't feel like we've been taxed, and uh, that's a good thing because we've got to keep building these guys as the season goes along. Kate earns the start tonight. Obviously, he earned it with his play at the plate, but Jared was also kind of struggling at the same time. So did, did, did Jared sort of just need a night to, you know, uh, open his head a little bit? Or? Yeah, I, I think I, I don't even look at it as like, you know, one spot, you know, with this team. I think it's uh, – we have a lot of good players. I mean, I mean, Paxton was like 10 for 8 this weekend. And, um, you know, <laughs> you know he, was, he came off the bench a, a couple games last week, you know. So it's just like, you know, there's more guys than spots and can do a lot of stuff. And 
I don't think there's really any finality to our team. Um, we're constantly looking at things we need to do to get better, um, different combinations. Um, you know, Ben napolt has been a really good player for us um, defensively and execute and moving the ball. And he didn't start for a couple games and, you know, comes in and hits a double. I mean, textbook, you know, tonight. And, um, you know, he'll have more opportunities. So it's not like – I think these guys are just being so mature about how they're going about it. And I'm really proud of them for that. I mean, I love the play. I love the execution. I love the winning. But just how this thing is rolling in terms of how we operate in here – um, it's at a really high level right now, and, and the players deserve a lot of credit for that. With Paxton, I know it, you were talking about Brady, what you had to do to get him, him here. Was Paxton kind of the same with the draft and everything? How yeah. Did you have to do well, that? he was actually – he was committed to the previous staff, and then he decommitted when I was hired. And I'll be honest, I was pissed at first. <laughs> I mean, I was really pissed. Um, and I was like, all right, man, you're messing this up. And then I, I was sitting in my hotel room <laughs> – and uh, for about 15 minutes, I was like, all right. I picked up the phone and I called him back. I was like, hey, I, I get it. Um, I, I want to re-recruit you. Like, just let's start, start over. And then I basically followed him around, you know, for, for the summer, you know, uh, with the area code games, um, you know, uh, the uh, PDP series where they picked the national team. I mean, I literally followed him around and then, Went up to Pennsylvania at the end of the summer and spent some time with him and his family. And he's got a great family. And then brought him on the official visit. And then, you know, for the 48 hours, I did not <laughs> leave his side. <laughs> so, and then about a week after that, he finally, finally jumped, jumped to the back in the boat. And man, I, I think about what a bad decision would would have been for me to get, let my pride get in the way. Because, um, like I said, the player is special. The talent, the athletic talent, is special. But. He's a great human being, too, and, and we're going to be better that he's here in a lot of ways. By the end of the Sanford series, uh, you guys would have played eight games in ten days. How do you guys deal with the wear and tear of the body? Yeah, we just pay attention to it. Um, you know, we talk uh, to the players a lot about recovery. Um, our strength coach, Derek Groomer, is phenomenal. I mean, we're in as good a shape as we've been physically since I've been here. Part of that's recruiting. And then part of that is the job he does, uh, really good nutrition plans for all of them. You know, we're not with him 24 hours a day, but it's like, man, you need to go to sleep, you know, and uh, you need to get in here and, and do recovery and treatment work on off days tomorrow because you can do that, you know, per NCAA rules. And so, you know, we have a lot of guys that they want to be great here, but they want to do this for a living. And so they're developing professional habits while playing at LSU. And so... I have a lot of trust in them with that right now. Can you talk about Lamar, too, as a yeah. team that's had a good start? Absolutely. Um, really a lot of respect. I think Will, obviously having ties to here, um, he does a great job. You know, And I've gotten to know him uh, a little bit better since I've, I've become the coach here. And um, I think he has the right idea for putting that program in the best place for it to be successful. They're really old. He uses the pitching really well. I think they uh, pulled their Friday starter after two innings on Friday, so I'm assuming that's who we're going to see on Wednesday. Um, and I'm, they'll use the bullpen and best bullets. They beat Texas A&M two weeks ago. Um, so this will be a great, great challenge. And um, all of these things that we're doing are challenging, going on the road, playing in that tournament, playing at Texas, four games in four days. I think all our guys are doing a good job of taking it in stride, and this is kind of the next one. What makes Lamar so dangerous? Old players, experience, um, they're confident. Um, I think they know who they are and they play to who they are really, really well.